Hey guys, this is Vesper once again. I just did an entire <laughs> video on this and uh, I forgot to turn the mic on, so yeah. Anyways, let's do this again. Alright, so this time I'm going to talk to you guys about the recent Capcom news for Street Fighter V and then the new character reveal for Street Fighter V and then some streaming stuff I'll be streaming soon. So let's get started again. So Capcom had a booth at EVO and they re revealed a lot of information, but I'm just going to tell you guys the important stuff that you need to know. So, first let's start with um, the initial Street Fighter V disc will be the only one you'll ever need to own. So what they're doing now is, you know how we always have a million different versions of Street Fighter IV, like, you know, Super Ultra Turbo. We have all those, like, jokes that Capcom always uses now themselves. They're not going to do that anymore. This time it's only going to be one disc, and then they'll be using their um, new delivery system to give us all the rest of the content. So it's kind of DLC system. Now this is really, really important to do, because, you know, one, you know, it's really annoying for people because, you know, there's always a joke that when a game comes out, they're always like, okay, I'll wait for the Turbo Edition to come out, you know what I mean? Like, you don't have to worry about that anymore. And it does not split the community. This is the most important thing. So that if one person has one version of the disc, they can always, you know, play with somebody else kind of thing. It's all going to be one disc. Finally. Really important. I'm pretty sure uh, Sony has a lot of stuff to do with that too. Anyways. Moving forward, all balance and system adjustments and gameplay will be made available for free to players. Uh, this is nuts. So, basically, they're going to give you uh, a way that you can earn all the content yourself. So all the new characters that come out and all the patches and all that stuff is you don't have to worry about paying money for it. You don't have to pay for it. It's all going to be given to us for free as long as you're playing the game sort of thing. Which I'll be explaining in a bit here how that works. Uh, so. 16 playable characters at launch, 4 will be brand new, and uh, future plans for additional fighters. So, 16 characters I personally like. I don't want it to be too many characters and have it all crazy. Because, uh, look at how many characters are in Street Fighter 4 right now. There's just way too many characters. It's so hard for someone to just jump into the game now and uh, start learning it. All the matchups and stuff. It's just nuts. So, 16 is good. It's a good in between numbers. So, Capcom can balance the game really well by la uh, at launch and then having just enough to you know keep things fresh and not having Ryu mirror matches all day. Um, four will be brand new. So this is no surprise, it's probably going to be like four brand new characters and then four from Alpha, four from Third Strike, four from you know the original cast, that kind of thing. I think that's what they're going for. Uh, this is no surprise too, the 16 number, I said this a long time before, because you know we have our, you know, the source, I'll just say it, the source, that, that's how we understood that V-Trigger was going to be the name of the new system and all that stuff way ahead of time. So. 16 is no surprise. Um, three betas that are going to be planned for Street Fighter V. This will be if you pre-order the game. Uh, the first beta is this Thursday on July 23rd. And then there will be two more after this. So the second one will be in spring. And the third one we don't know. Um, the one that's coming out in the spring uh, will probably be including the PC version of Street Fighter V. And they'll be testing out their cross-platform play. For sure is what they're going to be doing. 100%. And then hopefully some other things too. I ho really hope that Capcom gives us a submission box. Not on this first beta, but on the second and third one. Because I'd really like to submit my own opinions and stuff on uh, balancing. I really think the community should come together and help Capcom with this. As much as they can. Just to get things going here. Um, I don't want it to just be about the netcode. Like, I understand how important it is. Because netcode makes or break a good fighting game, honestly. Uh, but on the future betas. Um, it kind of sucks there's only three betas total. But I hope the second and third ones are a little longer than this one. Honestly, it's just because I want to play the game more. Like That's why we all want it to be longer, right? We want to pre-order the game because we want to play now. So, and I Plus, I want to do a bunch of stuff, videos and stuff on the beta too. So, there's that. Well, sorry about that, guys. My camera went all focused when I was waving my hands around. That was crazy. Anyways, two types of currency in Street Fighter V. Fight Money and Zenny. Fight Money is going to be the currency that you earn by playing the game. So winning your matches, doing the solo content, all that kind of thing. It's the grind money, basically. And then we'll have Zenny, which is purchased using real money. Now, um, the in-game currency is probably going to take a lot of playing to get the amount of money to uh, purchase the new content, such as the new characters, um, new stages, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, obviously Zenny will be worth a lot more than the fight money basically. So Zenny uh, is when you spend real money and basically that's going to be for people that don't have too much time in their hands, right? They, they work full time jobs and they're just like whatever, I'm just, they're just going to spend money just so they don't have to play specific stuff and grind it out to get all these new characters and content. Which is great because this works exactly how League of Legends works. And that's um, 
you pretty much have uh, access to everything through IP and then you spend riot points to buy the costumes and stuff. And you can actually buy, you know, uh, characters and stuff with the riot points instead of just grinding out the game, which takes quite a long time. Um, speaking of that though, so they said system adjustments, gameplay, and even characters are available free for the players, but they didn't mention anything else. So what they're doing here probably is that all the costumes in the game are going to cost only Zenny, which is real money. That makes sense because, you know, how else is Capcom going to make money off this game? You know what I mean? Why? Like, what's going to uh, give them money to make all this new content for us? Obviously, they need to make money after the game comes out. So that's going to be costumes and maybe accessories too. I wouldn't be surprised with the accessories in Street Fighter V just because, like, you know, we already have the noodle bowl on Chun Li's head and things like that, right? Hopefully, they don't go too crazy and stuff like that Tekken does. But, uh, yeah, so, like I said, this is, this is a good middle ground for everybody. If you play the game a lot, but you don't have a lot of money on your hands to spend, or you don't feel like spending any more than you already should, since you already purchased the game, if you're one of those guys, then you can. Just grind it out. And then, if you're somebody that just wants the content now, as soon as possible, like me, for example, and you have a job, you work a full-time job, then spend real money and buy Zenny, and just get the content right away. It's good for tournament organizers, too. So, there's that. Uh, I think there's going to be like a ton of exploits, though, on grinding out fight money, like right when the game launches. I wouldn't even be remotely surprised, so expect that to happen right away. <laughs> Some crazy patching is going to go on. This uh, Capcom even said that they're going to be like testing out... Um, uh, making like seeing how the the money is uh, the economy basically um, the, the balancing of it how much you should be earning per what stuff like if you play real players you should get more fight, fight money basically than just playing the computer I think anyways um, someone asked during the booth uh, you know what's the gonna be Capcom's philosophy basically on their patching because we've had a little controversy recently with NRS over patching Mortal Kombat we're getting patch whiplash man like Every time someone switches a character because their character gets normalized, you know, another patch comes out and then that character gets normalized. And it's like, whoa, man, it's like, give us some time and let the game balance itself out, figure out things. You know, we got stuff like Sub-Zero using his Ice Clone, and people are just saying it's just totally broken and there's no way out of it. And then they patch his ass, and then, you know, a little bit later, like a month later, we figure out ways to get out of it. And you know what I mean? Like, give the community some time. You know, obviously there's some things that are just completely blatantly broken, but... You don't have to patch it every single week. So anyways, Capcom said that um, they're not planning to do that. Um, they haven't even really done it anyways before. But another thing they said too is they're going to focus more on buffing uh, characters rather than nerfing them. So in other words, the characters that have been pro uh, problems with matchups, they're going to be buffing rather than the really good characters and nerfing them down to their level. You know what I mean? Because we don't like losing stuff. Like We like to keep all the combos and stuff in the game and just not make the game dull, basically. You gotta remember, it's almost impossible to perfectly balance a fighting game. It's almost impossible. Actually, I'm just gonna say it is impossible. Uh, especially a game as deep as Street Fighter or even Mortal Kombat, etc. So, we have, um, what was I gonna say here? So when Street Fighter 4, we have matchups that are like 6-4. Those are fine. 6-4 matchups are fine. But 7-3 matchups are pretty insane. That's the stuff that we really want to fix with the game. And don't forget that matchups is an opinion. There's not some stupid computer out there that's like, this is, this is the matchup kind of thing. It's all based on opinions of what we know about the game before we break it down and all that kind of stuff. So, anyways, yeah, I'm pretty sure Capcom will do a good job balancing the game with that kind of philosophy. Anyways, let's talk about the new character. So the new character's name is Nikali. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Nikali. Uh, if I'm wrong about that, <laughs> let me know in the comments. But anyways, he's very wild and animal-like. He looks like Tarzan, basically. He looks pretty crazy. So he's got some cool moves here. we got some Berserker Slash looking attack where he like claws forward like Wolverine. I, I doubt it crosses up. But anyways, he like sprints forward with his claw. And uh, it looks like it's got good corner carry and it's really good on closing the distance with your opponent in general. So that's cool. He's got a dive kick. Of course, every character needs a dive kick, man. This is how it is. So, and that leads into combos, of course. So, I doubt a dive kick hits overhead. It'll be just like Street Fighter 4. And uh, maybe, hopefully, it won't be too lenient. Like, if you, you gotta know your ranges and your dive kicks, so you're always aiming for the toes and stuff. And then uh, he's got a command grab. Um, the EX version of his command grab uh, causes a crazy wall bounce. So, you can combo afterwards. Man, this character's kind of like Yun now, man. Lunge punch, dive kick, command grab. Anyways, he's got an anti air special. Um, looks pretty, it's just a claw attack upwards, looks like thing like insane. 
Um, he's got some foot stomp move. Looks like just combo filler because he's going like foot stomp into foot stomp, that kind of thing. Um, his super, I think his super is a grab because in the trailer we didn't see him combo into it. So I'm assuming it's a grab. We haven't seen a grab super yet in the game, so this might be the first one. Uh, and then uh, his V reversal. His V reversal looks like just like any other V reversal, nothing fancy. Uh, but what really is cool is his V skill. That's the most interesting thing I saw. Was uh, his V skill looks like Seismo from Sea Viper in Street Fighter 4, and he can actually control the distance of the of his uh, V skill. So the Seismo could be right in front of you, mid screen, or full screen, basically. Now, I wonder if it hits low like Seismo. That'd be nuts. And uh, as usual, you know, all the V skills seem to be kind of like anti zoning kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like that seems to be what they're all used for. And then um, the biggest thing, though is the fact that he can actually combo into his V skill. That's insane. You can actually see the Seismo being used um, mid-combo, which is totally new. Like, in, in the E3 build, me and Killy tried uh, canceling V skills into everything, comboing, like, using everything, and we couldn't. You just couldn't cancel into it. And, of course, we know from the new Ken trailer and the Ken footage that we have that you can cancel his normal attacks into his V skill, but it's just a dash, or you can use a step kick. But this is an actual attack only attack that you can combo into and that's going to be insane man because that means he's going to be able to build his v gauge mid combos you know what i mean so that's really really cool i like that i think a lot of these skills should be uh able to cancel into in combos because then you have the decision of making whether you should do a high damaging combo or you should do a resourceful combo where you're trying to build your v trigger i think that'd be a cool balance to the game they should uh think about that anyways speaking of that v trigger his V trigger looks nuts, man. He turns into a Super Saiyan or some shit. Like when he activated his V trigger in that gameplay trailer, man, I flew off my couch, man. I was like, whoa. Anyways, uh, <laughs> he gets uh, access to new combos, new frame data. It's kind of redundant, and uh, different critical art, so a different super. Uh, so not really specific, but obviously he's gonna have insane new combos. We saw in the trailer he did some crazy couple lights into a medium into a special or something. So that's gonna be really really cool. Uh, once again, it looks like nothing really nuts where um, the character is getting insane amount of speed like X Factor, you know what I mean? It's not going to be exactly a comeback factor, everything still looks like it's just augmenting your character in some way. Not, necess not necessarily making them like insane where your opponent can't deal with it. Uh, some unfair advantage. So I like where they're going with that. Um, still, I want some more unique stuff with V-Trigger like I was talking about before, where it's not necessarily like just some kind of install, right? I like uh, actual crazy stuff like Nash, for example. Uh, so that's it regarding the new character for Street Fighter V. Um, I'm just happy that this character is a serious character. I'm happy he's not a goofy character like El Forte or Rufus or Hakan or even Jerry's kind of goofy. I, I, I like serious characters personally and I don't like them wasting character slots on, on uh, goofy characters. But that's just my personal opinion. Um, you know, there's always room for a goofy character, but just I want to keep that serious tone. So I'm happy about that. You know, they're taking the character design really seriously. You know, this this dude is just some crazy Tarzan guy. Kind of looks like Blanca before he morphed into some green dude. Anyways, um, yeah, that's it regarding the new character. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Okay, stream stuff. So I'm finally gonna be streaming. Finally gonna be streaming. I don't have to say it in the comments anymore. So that's gonna be. I'm gonna start streaming on uh, this Thursday, so July 23rd, when Street Fighter 5 Beta comes out. I'm going to be streaming Street Fighter 5 Beta five days straight. All five days. Every time I'm playing the game, I'm going to be streaming. So my stream channel is called Vesper Arcade on Twitch. I'll leave a link above. And uh, be sure to follow so you guys can come. I doubt there's going to be you know a ton of people coming. You know, Probably like 10 or 20 people max because I just want you guys to chill with me so we can have a conversation. It'll be nice to have not too many people in the stream anyways just so you know uh, if you guys ask me any questions or stuff about Street Fighter 5 I can tell you guys. So I'm really excited to start streaming man. It's gonna be great. And uh, another thing too, if there's anyone out there who has a lot of streaming experience or actually streams themselves and you know knows all the the, the loops and stuff with it, hit me up on Facebook man and uh, give me a private message. And uh, I wouldn't mind adding you on Skype or something and I could ask you some questions because I'm personally really, really new to streaming. Personally. I haven't streamed anything uh, myself. So this is going to be all new for me. Um, expect some crazy stuff to happen like the stream shutting off on and on and <laughs> crazy malfunctions to go because this will be the first time. 
but it'd be nice to have someone around that I can, you know, ask questions to, because, you know, I've just been researching all this stuff online. For the most part, I've been working behind the scenes, uh, trying to get everything up and running. Everything seems good, but we won't know until the actual stream starts. Uh, if anything will go wrong, so it'd be nice to have some help. So once again, message message me on Facebook, uh, private message. And uh, yeah, guys, I guess that's it. So I'm finally done this podcast again. Well, it's not really a podcast, but I've done this video for the second time, and hopefully I have audio this time. So that'd be great. So anyway, guys, I'll, me and Kelly are gonna do a podcast on um, evil later, and uh, expect a crazy. Uh, flooding in your inbox for YouTube because I'm going to be releasing a ton of videos real, real soon. All the breakdown videos for Street Fighter V for the, get you guys ready for the beta and a bunch of other stuff, so prepare yourselves. Also for this stream, Killy is going to be coming down and he's going to be playing characters. Uh, for this stream, the Street Fighter stream, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be playing only random select. Uh, so that's going to be really funny. And I think when Killy, he has work on Thursday, but after that he'll be down here for a couple days playing and um, I think we're going to take like three characters each. I'll be playing Bison, Chun-Li, and Birdie, I think, and he'll be playing Nash because he's obsessed with that character, and uh, Kami, and uh, Ryu, I think. But, you know, we'll be mixing it up. We'll always be playing random selects, so that'll be cool to keep the stream a little fresh when we're playing. Because I want to, you know, play all the characters, honestly. So, hopefully you guys come down and check me out on the stream. That'd be sweet. And, yeah, that's it, guys. Peace.